So we're here back at Access Solutions. I'd like to show you guys this. It's pretty cool. That's not a bad price. Two bucks for each. Fifty cents? You'd be a fool not to buy that. That is a... This is this has microchips on it. This is for a machine that supplies microchips to... Like a pick and place machine that'll pick it. So you have all these ribbons of like microchips and stuff like that and components and resistors. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so you put like the... Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they probably have like some reels of like components somewhere. Ooh. Server cabinets. Mm-hmm. Not 450 bucks though. Oh, that is some intense stuff there. Twenty-five bucks. General Electric. That's a big power transformer, looks like. I've already been here and I've always seen most of this stuff, but God, it's amazing to see it again. Seventy-five dollars. Oh, oh my God! It's something cool. <laughs> it's a nice rack. It's like a short rack mount thing. These USB cable things. I bet you could probably put like a Bitcoin miner stuff in there and mine a shitload of bitcoins. What? That's amazing. This is awesome. Too bad it's like four thousand bucks. All right, and they left some. Uh, I left some film here. We should still have some more. I'm gonna see about buying it. Here it is. Oh. Yeah, I'll probably buy some of that. Seventy-five bucks. Whatever that is. Oh, look at that. It's a weird Seagate drive. It's like really short. What? Four dollars for this? That's, that's crazy. That's pretty cool. Oh, I might get one. I don't know. It does have Japanese in it too. Unfortunately, it has a lot of kanji. And I cannot read kanji for the life of me. Block granite? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like solid granite. I was at a VFD, a variable frequency drive. Only 45 bucks. They're good. These guys' prices seem to be a lot better than anybody else. On some things, at least. Oh. 30 bucks. That's some, like... Huh. Weird. Look at that. That is a nice, cute little tiny variac. 
Looks like it's missing the carbon electrode though. The brush. They're probably pretty low power, like maybe 500 watts or 1000 watts or something like that. I need to get a big one so I can run a big like electric furnace type thing. That's so cool. It's so weird that these have air inlet, power inlet. Hey, have you ever seen anything like this where it has an air inlet and a power inlet? Hmm. And it looks so weird. So it looks like it's been beat up or something like that. Like that one? Yeah. Yeah. Similar, but this one, this looks like this was a painted on as opposed mm -hmm. to this was some sort of plastic molding. Oh, I, I see what you mean, yeah. This place is so awesome. If only I was closer, that'd be really cool. Oh, tubing. Really tiny tubing. This place can take so much of your money. Oh my god. I would be poor if I came here too often. Seven bucks for a spool of wire, it's, it's not too bad. I like these, these are like processor holders. This is pretty cool. Man, this is awesome. All oh, these, these little things. Damn. This has copper in it. Nice. Oh, this side has tools in it. <gasps> what are these? Drills? Whoa, 40 cent drill bits. They're probably worn out. Yeah, they look like they're, they've been heated up a lot, but... Damn, look at that. Those are all drill bits. Oh, man. Wow. I think I know where I'm going to go if I need drill bits. There's an Australian cord. Oh, is it Australian or is it? Oh. I thought that was Australian. Never mind. Because it's in Europe. I thought... Uh, I, you know, I could probably make something like... You know, I could probably make something like mass... <laughs> mass scale if I came here. You got all the parts from here. Ooh, if only this were a 72 pin. That'd be good for, like, Nintendo games. <gasps> Grab bags. Mixed relays. Oh my god. The mixed bag is so wonderful looking. Wow. Asus. That's weird. Oh, it's working for some tablet or something like that. Never mind. I don't know what the price is on it, but I don't need it. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? It is pretty awesome. It's like industrial heat gun thingamajig. Whoa. Look at that. Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks isn't too bad for that. 
It'd be really nice to pad out a uh, home laboratory. Forty bucks. Ooh, ooh. Look at those heating elements. That is huge. What? That's cool. <gasps> what is this? What? Only 150 bucks for that. Oh, this is so cool. That's got to be old. Like, at least 1960s. We like military equipment. Man. Yep, and it's on wheels too. Huh. That is awesome. <gasps> oh my god. That is a huge ass power box. Whoa, $75. Man, that is huge. $50 for these, whatever they are, it looks awesome. If I got my own place, that'd be cool to have some stuff like this. So you just have projects on it. Because I could definitely afford that. Oh, oh man. Four hundred amp circuit breaker. Forty amp. That echoed like crazy. I'm back home and it's raining nicely outside and just it's really nice weather. It's just really relaxing. It's nice to have the window open. A nice breeze in here. There's the film I got last time. Here's the film I got this time. This came in the mail. It's 15 bucks on eBay. It's another another Delta lamp. I plan to do just like what I did in Illinois, where I upgrade this to be lithium with a high-powered LED. That would be pretty good. And I also got this. It's a little 30-volt, uh, 5-amp power supply. It looked kind of a little different than all the other cookie-cutter ones on eBay, so I thought I'd give this one a try. It's kind of shitty though. It's actually really shitty. The voltage jumps up to 45 volts whenever you turn it on, and if you, if you the little rel the relays that click over, they can get stuck where they're just clicking, oscillating back and forth if you go the wrong voltage. But oh well. Oh, also the fan's always on, so I was like, mm, I don't know. It is tinier though, so it's kind of cool. So that'll probably be one of those ones where I just I let it run for hours and hours if I ever need to power something for a long time because I don't mind if I cook it. So the film that I got last time I went to Excess Solutions I actually looked at it and it was a really good film. Got Death Watch from 1966 with Leonard Nimoy in it. Assault on the Wayne with Leonard Nimoy in it from 1971. So that's two Leonard Nimoy films. And then the things unknown. I didn't know what that was. Turns out, this is an episode of The Outer Limits. I think it's the last episode of the first season. It's like, I have a full episode of The Outer Limits. Holy hell. This is a wonderful film collection. So I bought the rest of the film. And I highly doubt it's going to be anything like they say in the box. Because, like, for instance... No, not that one. Dr. Strangelove? I do not think that's Dr. Strangelove, because if it is, that would be that would be too good to be true. But is it Dr. Strangelove? I hope it is, because that would be so cool to have that film on 16mm. Looks like three reels. The Thief of Baghdad. Hmm. That's a 1940 film. Yeah, looks like this is just the Thief of Baghdad. 
I really like these little film clips they have in here. So much better than a little piece of tape. Yep, that looks like a Thief of Baghdad to me. And the, this film looks like it's actually in pretty good condition. It is safety film. Looks like it was made in the 1970s. And the color's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. And it is safety film. Fuji film safety. Because if this was a nitrate film, I'd... I don't know what I'd do with it. I'd, I'd probably take it and... I'd probably burn it, but it would also be probably pretty badly gone. But the thing is with this, so it's it's a, um, oh, it's called an acetate film, and it doesn't smell bad at all. It doesn't smell like it's had hardly any degradation. That's really nice. So this is probably still really strong to film. Yeah, like I can't break it, so that's good. So that's the complete film there, it looks like. It's one, two, and three of the reels. It's no Doctor Strange love, but oh well. Oh, and basically this is ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars. That's a pretty good deal in my opinion, even if they're, even if they turned out to be bad. Kid Monk. Hmm. Kodak. Safety. Positive. Nice. Quite happy with that. Medic. Three and black and white positive. It's obviously in like a moist environment, maybe like a Oh, interesting. That looks really old. Made in nineteen fifty four. So it's probably it's probably the safety film also. That's good. I'm not gonna blow up inside my projectors. Safety. Kodak, nice. And it looks like just some like documentary about like medicine or something like that. After all, it is just labeled medic. I just googled medic nineteen fifty four. It looks like it was a TV series, and that looks like that guy. Yeah. That's kind of cool. So I have a full TV show from the year it was made. I wonder when it was first uh, list of episodes. This is in what? November of 1954? September. Oh, interesting. So yeah, it's right around that time. That's kind of cool. Then we have the balcony, uh, reel one and reel two. Hmm. Whoa. I've never smelled that smell before. God, that's... Ugh. Okay. That is a weird smell. It's like a super strong chemical smell. It just smells like this is a highly decomposed acetate film or whatever it is. Not, it, it's probably not a nitrate film. I don't know. It's really rusting around the inside of that, though. Ugh. Might take that outside. Kind of takes your breath away. It's safety film. Yeah, it's safety film. God, that is some nasty safety film. I mean, that stuff is rank. Ugh. Yeah, it's safety, that's for sure. I think I'm going to leave them out here for an evening and just kind of let them breathe a little bit, you know? Just because, man, those things are nasty. The film looks fine, but they stink like hell. Wow. That's so strange that, that just that real stunk. I don't know. Or then again, I wonder if maybe it's half and half. Maybe this... Because this reel is the one that looks like it has, has all the weird funky stuff going on. And this one's just on the top. When I checked that one, it looked fine. But I didn't check that one. Maybe later, 
Like even right now, I can just smell like stuff coming off of this stuff. Maybe it's mold. I don't know. At least it's not nitrate, though. Although, if it was nitrate, I would kind of like to blow some up. But it oh. Some red powder on that. Oh, wow. This sounds weird. It's all, like, blotchy and messed up. It looks like this this one reel is the, where all that stuff's coming from. I can see that it does say safety on there, though. But that could just be the leader. I don't know. Yeah, it's the balcony. This thing has a lot of tears on it, though. Wow. And this is on safety film, too, so it's not just the leader or the header or whatever it's called. Oh, yeah, leader, sorry. Weird. Okay, guys, so I I just sat down to answer some comments and stuff like that, and I started to get a whiff of the same vinegar smell from the, the film. But the film's on the other side of the house. It's like, it's very slight. And it's not coming from here. It's like, it's coming from the window. But, man. What the hell is wrong with this stuff? Yeah, there's definitely vinegar smell here. Oh, God. It... It smells like I took one of the other better films and put it right over against my nose right now. Man. That's some pretty rank stuff. Maybe, maybe I'll just do that. Like, every week, I'll take these out and let them sit out for a day. But right now, I kind of want to get them back inside. A lot of film. I'm quite happy. That is that is a nice little collection I have going there. I'm quite happy. This this past week's been f amazing. It's the first time I've ever gotten a full length film on 16 millimeter. It's the first time I've gotten like almost brand new film on 16 millimeter. I wonder, do they sell any brand new films made from the polyester, like the new extremely hard film that lasts a long time? Because I can't find anything where they actually... I don't know anybody that actually sells new film. Like, that'd be cool to find a new movie on 16mm or something like that. But, oh, well. I guess it's just, like, hobbyist stuff that's on new 16mm film. Well, that's pretty much it. I'm sure you guys will have a lot of comments about excess solutions and a lot of comments about the film. Because I know a lot of you guys probably spent a lot of time... I, well, there's probably a, a huge section of my viewers that are older and they actually were when they were alive whenever these are you could easily go to a store or Kodak and buy a new film and you could like have a nice little hobby type thing going on where you're filming with films like that. So yeah, I'd love to hear you guys' information on like what do you think I should do with this or what kind of projector I should get or where do you think I should get a projector or whatever. I'm I'm looking at a projector that's 50 bucks on eBay and even for 50 bucks, though, it's the cheapest one I can find, but it's a Bell & Howell. It's one of the later models, and it's a slot-loading projector. I'm thinking slot-loading would be better on the film. I'm not sure. Well, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. See ya!